from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020, sponsored by Intel, AWS, and our community partners. Welcome to the virtual CUBE and our coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. I'm Lisa Martin. I'm joined by Ali Siddiqui, the Chief Product Officer at BMC Software. We're going to be talking about what BMC and AWS are doing together. Ali, it's great to have you on theCUBE. Thank you, Lisa. Get, great to be here and be part of AWS reInvent. Exciting times. They are exciting times, that is true. No, never a dull moment these days, right? So Ali, talk to me a little bit about what AWS, what BMC is doing with AWS. Let's dig into what you're doing there on the technology front and unpack the benefits that you're delivering to customers. Great questions, Lisa. So at BMC, we really have a close partnership with AWS. It's really about BMC plus AWS better together for our customers. That's what it's really about. We have a global presence, probably the largest uh, uh, for, of any uh, vendor out there in this in our industry with 15 data centers, AWS data centers around the globe. We just announced five more in South Africa, Brazil, LATAM, APJ, a couple of them, EMEA, uh, across the globe. Really the presence is uh, very strong with these uh, data centers because that lets us offer local presence take care of GDPR, and we have great certification with ISO, SOC 2, FedRAMP, IL-4, high FedRAMP. Uh, we even got uh, uh, HIPAA certifications, as well as uh, uh, dedicated uh, Canada certifications for our customers, thanks to our partnership, close partnership with AWS and, and, and all these data centers across. In addition, for our customers really, visibility into AWS, seamless capability to do multi-cloud management is key. And with our recent partnership with AWS around specifically AWS SSM, which gives customers key multi-cloud capabilities around multi-cloud management, total visibility seamlessly in AWS and all their services, whether it's EC2, SES, S3, SageMaker, whatever services they have, we, we let them discover uh, and, and seamlessly give them visibility into that. That 360 degree visibility is really key to understand the dependencies right between the software and the services and help customers to optimize their investments in AWS, I assume, correct? Exactly, with the AWS SSM and our AI service management integration, we really give deep visibility on the dependency, how they're being used, how, what services are being impacted and, and really AWS SSM is a key unique technology which we've integrated with and very, very happy with the results our customers are getting from it. Can you share some of those results? Operational efficiencies, cost savings? Yeah, yeah, Lisa, uh, another great question. So when I look at uh, the general picture uh, of uh, AI service management and AI ops, which we run with uh, AWS across all these global data sensors and specifically with AWS SSM, people are able to do customers, and this is like the, 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 the top two hyperscalers we are talking about, as well as large telcos like Ericsson and, and some of the leading uh, industry retail or, uh, or uh, you know, other uh, customers we have, they're getting great value because they're able to do service modeling automatically, use SSM to get true deep visibility seamlessly uh, to do service uh, discovery uh, with uh, for, for, for all the assets that they run uh, using our AI service management and AI ops capabilities. Uh, it really is the next gen and it's disrupting the service ITSM traditional service management industry with what we're offering now uh, with AI, AI service management, AWS SSM and other AWS cloud native capabilities such as SageMaker and AWS Lex and Connect that we leverage in us AI service management AI app solution. We recently announced that as a single unified platform which allows our customers to go on, BMC customers and joint with AWS customers to go on this autonomous digital enterprise journey. Uh, this announcement was done by our CEO of BMC, Ayman Sayed in BMC Exchange recently, where we basically launched a single ADE foundation, a single platform for observability, engagement with automation. For the autonomous digital enterprise, I presume. I'd like yes. to understand too, from your perspective, this disruption that you're enabling, how is it helping 
helped your customers not just survive this viral disruption that we're all living with, but be able to get the visibility into their software and services, really maximize and optimize their cloud investments so that their business can operate well during these unprecedented times, meet their customer demands, exceed them, and meet their customers where they are. How is this like a, an accelerator of that? Great question, uh, uh, Lisa. So when we say autonomous digital enterprise, this is the journey all our customers are taking, uh, and it's focused on three traits, agility, customer centricity, and actionability. So if you think about our solutions uh, with AWS, really it's AI service management, AI ops enables these enterprises to go on this autonomous digital enterprise journey where they can offer great engagement to their employees. All CEOs really care about employee engagement, happy employees make for more revenue for, for those enterprises, as well as offer great customer experience for their customers uh, 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 using our AI service management and AI ops combined ADE found in this single platform, which we are calling ADE foundation. Lita, yeah, I you, always, please. oh, go ahead, sorry. Uh, no, uh, uh, go ahead, please. I was just gonna say, I always look at the employee experience and the customer experience as absolutely inextricably linked. If the employee experience is hampered, that's by default almost going to impact the customer experience. And right now, I don't know if it's even possible to say both the employee experience and the customer experience are even more essential to really get right because now we've got this, you know, this big scatter that happened a few months ago with some companies that were completely 100% on site to remote being able, needing to give their employees access to the tools to do their jobs properly so that they can deliver products and services and solutions that customers need. So I always see those two employee customer experience as just inextricably linked. Absolutely, that's correct. And especially in this time, even if in the new pandemic, uh, these uh, in pandemics time, uh, the chief human resource officer, the CEOs are really focused on keeping the employees engaged and retaining top talent. And that's where our AI service management and AI solution helps them really do use our digital assistance, chatbots, which are powered by AWX and Lex and AWS Connect, and, 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 in, and, and our integration with the uh, Helix Control M, which is another service we launched on AWS, Helix Control M, which is our SaaS version of a leading SaaS uh, product automation uh, product out there, uh, as well as RP integrations we bring to the table, which really allows them to take employee engagement to the next level. And that's top of mind for all CEOs and being driven by line of business like uh, chief uh, human resource officers. That's so, a so great point. Are you, are you finding that more of your conversations with customers are at that C level as they look to things like AI ops to help fine tune their business, that it's really that, that C level, uh, not concern, but, but priority to ensure that we're doing everything we can within our infrastructure, where every, where our server, software and services are, to really ensure that we're delivering and, and exceeding customer expectations at a very tumultuous time. Yes, what we are finding is uh, really at the CEO level, CIO level, the C level, it's about machine learning AI, adopting that more in the enterprise, and specifically on our capabilities. When I say AI ops, so those are around root cause, predictive IT and even using AI NLP for self-service. So self-service is a big part and we offer key capabilities. We just did an acquisition come around, uh, which lets them do knowledge management and self-service. So these are specific capabilities, predictive IT, AI ops, and knowledge management self-service that we offer that really is resonating very well with CIOs who are looking to transform their IT uh, systems and in IT ops and align it with businesses much better and really do innovation in this area. So that's what's happening. And it's great to see that because those are the exact capabilities that come with our EDE foundation, the unified platform for observability and lets customers go on this autonomous digital enterprise journey with our key capabilities. Do you see this facilitating the autonomous digital enterprise as, as a way to separate the the winners and the losers of tomorrow as so much of the world has changed and some amount of this is going to be permanent. 
I imagine that's got to be a competitive advantage to customers in any industry. We believe enterprises that have the growth mindset and, and, and want to go into the next generation, and that's most of them, to, to be honest, uh, are really looking at the ADE, Autonomous Digital Enterprise framework that we offer and work with our customers on as a way to grow revenue, to get more customer centric, increase employee engagement. That's what we see happening in the industry. And that's where our capabilities with ADE Foundation, as well as Helix, whether it's Helix AI Service Management, Helix AI Ops, or now recently launched Helix Control M, really enable them to keep their existing uh, you know, tools, as well as keep their existing investments and move the IT ops towards the next generation of tooling and as well as increase employee engagement with our leading industry leading digital assistant chatbot and, 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 and AI service management solution. That, that's what we see and that's the journey we are taking with most of our customers and really the ones with the growth mindset are really being distinguished as the front runners. Talk to me about some validation from the customer's perspective, the industry's perspective. What are you guys hearing about what you're doing as BMC and with AWS? So validation uh, from customers I've just talked about, great validation, as I said, top two of the uh, hyperscalers users for proactive problem management, proactive incident management, AI ops. Uh, at the same time, uh, independent validation from Gartner, we are back. Uh, we are we are we are seven years in a row. Uh, in a in a row, so seven years is the longest street in Gartner MQ for ITSM, and we are a leader in that for seven years, the longest uh, run so far by any vendor. We are scoring the top uh, in the top number one position in twelve of the fifteen critical capabilities. As you know, Gartner ITSM uh, is really about the critical capabilities is where most customers look. So that's a big independent validation where we scored 12 uh, of the, uh, we were number one in 12 of the 15 key capabilities. So that was an awesome validation from Gartner in ITSM. Uh, we also uh, recently EMA Enterprise Management Associates published a new report on AI ops and BMC scored the top spot on the charts with business impact and business alignment use cases categories for AI ops. So think about what that means. It's really about your business, right? So, so we being the top of the chart for business impact and business alignment for AI ops, radar report from Enterprise Management Associate is a great independent validation that we can point to of, of our solutions and what, and that's really because we partner very closely with our cu customers. We also got a couple more awards and we won a lot more, but just to mention two more, AI bre breakthrough, which is an industry leading uh, 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 third-party source out, out there for chatbots and uh, AI-based chatbot solution named BMC Helix chatbot as the best chatbot solution out there. Um, SAS Awards, another industry analyst firm, uh, independent uh, uh, firm, which uh, really uh, really shows the, that how we are getting third parties and, and independents to talk about our solutions, named BMC SaaS for ticket and event management, which is really a proactive problem and proactive incident resolution system as, as the best uh, solution out there for ticketing and event management. So Just a lot of accolades. The list is pretty long. I, I can yes, it sounds like it. A lot of accolades, a lot of validation. How do customers get, how do you get started? So customers looking to come to BMC to really understand, get that 360 degree visibility, how do they get started? Uh, well, they can start with our uh, BMC Discovery, which integrates uh, very tightly with AWS SSM to basically get the full visibility of assets from network to storage uh, to AWS services, whether they are S3, uh, EC2, uh, doesn't matter what services it, uh, uh, Kafka service they are using, whatever service, hundreds of services they are using, we can seamlessly do that. So that's one way to do that. Just start with BMC D Helix Discovery. Uh, the other uh, one is with uh, uh, BMC Knowledge Management uh, and BMC Self Service. That's a quick win uh, for most of our customers. Our AI Service Management tooling. That's the third way, and our AI Ops tooling uh, with BMC Helix uh, Monitor and AI Ops. We offer pretty much the best in the industry in those that customers can start with. So the many areas, and now with BMC Control M, if they want to start with automation, that's a great way to start uh, with BMC Control M, which is our SaaS solution of our industry leading automation uh, product called Control M. 
And so for just last question, from a go to market perspective, it sounds like direct through BMC channel partners. What about through AWS? Yes, absolutely. I mean, again, uh, we it's all about BMC and AWS better together. We offer cloud native AWS services for our solutions, use them heavily as I just mentioned, whether that's SSM or chatbots or, or any of the above or SageMaker for machine learning AI. And uh, customers can contact the local AWS rep to, to, to start uh, learning about BMC and AWS better together. Excellent. Well, Ali, thank you for coming on the program, talking to us about what BMC is doing to help your customers become that autonomous digital enterprise that we think of tomorrow, they're going to need to be to have that competitive edge. I've enjoyed talking to you. Same here. Thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, and uh, really, it's about our customers and partnering with AWS. So very proud of that. Thank you so much. Excellent. For Ali Siddiqui, I'm Lisa Martin, and you're watching theCUBE.